Greetings Questers! In this next tutorial video we're going to talk about characters. One of the most important parts about your game is these characters. And so we will go into discussion about how to add uh, multiple characters for different character sheets and uh, how to group them and put them in different categories, uh, being able to search and, and things like that to improve the ability to find what you're looking for. So we're simply going to add a character by clicking the add button and then we're going to make one of my favorite characters of all time, Elfric on Aldar. He is my Elven Ranger that I've played in many games for many years. And we will simply pick the PC character sheet. This option here can speak. What this allows me to do is that if I have this enabled, I will show you in a minute, but it will allow you to see your character down here so that you can type is that character at any point in time. I'm gonna pick the group. I'm simply gonna type it in as players. And then I'm going to drag his image over here resize it, confirm it, and then I'm actually going to use a different kind of token in a minute, but I'll show you the basic uh, disk tokens that are available to everyone. And then I'll simply hit save. This will take a moment as it's gonna upload the image to the server, your character's all set, and now I can actually go into the character details here. I can fill out all of the character details that I want, I can spend as much time in here as I want and I, we can go into that in a further uh, and later tutorial. So for now I will simply take this character and if I mouse over his little portrait here I can actually take this and I can drag it onto the battle map and as you saw in the previous videos about battle maps you'll see that when this token is dropped it actually will size the token to the to the appropriate scale of the map based on the grid size. And that's how you create a character that you can easily drop onto the map. And something to note is that when you select a character, if you have a character that does not have a character sheet, I will take this as an example, and I click on this, you'll notice that there's no information down here in the mini tooltip window, as well as uh, some of the options uh, for being able to open a character sheet simply will not work because there is no character sheet associated to it. However, you can still see the menu. You can hide the token if you want. You can change the facing of the token. All those things still work. Now, the next thing to do when you're looking at this specifically is you want to be able to note that uh, the, this, op this menu options here allow you to either increase the size of the token, decrease the size. There are limits. Uh, this will become more freeform in the future, but that, that's how it's built on the grid. You can change the facing like I was showing you. You can also change the elevation and you can hide the token. So if I set the elevation, I can move him up, you know, two squares. And now you can see that his elevation is set to two squares. And what you'll see though, even though that this is set to two squares, you don't see anything here. And that's because you are not currently in combat. And for things like elevation to show up, as well as the hit point tracker that shows up on your uh, character token will not display unless you are in an active combat. So now, as we have our token selected, you can also delete a token by simply selecting it using this and hitting delete. Now with that, you have a very basic set of opportunities uh, or options, I mean, to show you what you have for a character on the map. You can open your character sheet by either using that menu option or you can simply double click or double tap if you're using a mobile device and you can simply open this and you can drag this open to as big as you want it. And this gives you the same options that you'd seen in this side over here and it allows you to modify the sheet. We'll just give him 55 hit points. We'll set his uh, current and his max to 55. And now you'll notice after it saves, when I click on him, you'll see that his hit point bar down here is available uh, as well. The next part of this is moving a token. You know, you can use the left mouse button to drag the map around. You can uh, pick up a token and then you can choose to move it. And you'll notice that the animating line shows me where I'm going to, but it also shows me the calculation for distance. This is also useful as a good calculation tool you don't have to drop the character. You can simply just pick up your token and, and pick out where you want to go and measure the distance. I'll drop him back down. But if you'll see, if I move him, the 
movement line will actually stay there and that is part of the grid options and that movement line specifically lets me hide or show that that useful tool if you want it or not now after that you can also as you're moving your token you can hit the space bar on any point to create waypoints of various design so that you can show that you decided to move in this direction and going around an opponent or something similar to that and that's simply by pressing the space bar in each square that you wanted to go and that's it for basic token movement thanks for stopping by and keep questing